so this guy has been going viral on twitter and different social media pages and the reason why she's going viral is going to shock you a video she posted on her tiktok page that was supposed to be an ah uh, ah uh, moment for us single people turned out to be a wish hunt and guys i have to be honest with you the detective of twitter have been working extra hours that have been working over time or just to get to the root of this whole issue i welcome you to today's video my name is shooks and this is powerhouse of positivity so this 16 year old kid celebrated four years relationship anniversary with her mysterious man celebrating four years anniversary is not the problem in south africa the normal age of consent is 16 years so by me looking at it 16 year old celebrating a, a relationship anniversary is not uh, there's nothing wrong with it where people began to find fault or where people begin to get angry was four years ago if you are celebrating four years ago and you are 16 today that means you started dating when you were 12 and there is no way there is no possible way that a person you are dating and what gave her out was the one of cash she was flaunting and a new iphone that her supposedly mysterious boyfriend got her and also the interior of the car that she's always snapping pictures in so from me looking at the car the car is very expensive so people started going through all of her pictures trying to find out who is this mysterious man that will be dating or that will start dating a 12 year old and guys i have to be honest with you within me i am shocked yes she might be pretty yes she might be more mature than her age but dating or going out with a 12 year old if that doesn't scream sexual predator i don't know what is and also i have to point out to the parents of the girl let's just say as a parent or as a mom your 16 year old daughter comes home from school from school you sent her to school she came home with a wand of cash and a brand new iphone 15. and as a parent you didn't do anything you didn't confiscate all of that i have to be honest with you you have failed as a parent i remember growing up when i was in ss2 that is one year before i finished matric i bunked school just to go do manual labor because there was this shoe i wanted to buy just to go do manual labor i was paid 1000 naira then it was a big amount of money then upon coming back because i was kind of popular in my neighborhood upon coming back someone who saw me doing that manual labor already called my mom telling her what is going on so upon coming back i'm meeting my mom at home what my mom did to me that day set me straight for life like i know i worked for the money but what she did to me that day set me straight for life and whenever i think of bunking school it's not if it's not that i'm afraid of bunking school but when you remember what happened the last time you bunked school your brain will reset so as a parent your 16 year old kid comes back comes back from school with a brand new iphone 15 and a wand of cash and you as a parent you didn't question her where you got where she got all this from i have to say you failed as a parent and to the tw and to twitter detectives that are doing a mighty job it is allegedly that the said mysterious boyfriend is a pastor yeah a married pastor and looking at judging from the picture of this pastor there's no way this pastor is not if this pastor is not old he will be in his early or mid 40s so tell me why a pastor allegedly guys allegedly tell me why a pastor will be dating a 16 year old kid supposedly they started dating when she was 12 so tell me why someone who stand on the pulpit filled with the glory of god will be dating a 16 year old kid guys i have nothing else to say other than as a parent we need to do more and we need to check the friends they keep and also be mindful of the company your your children keeps 
There is this saying, show me your friend and I'll show you whom you are. Also, monitor their whereabouts. There's nothing, there, there is no offense on calling up your daughter, calling up your son be every two minutes, every t every one hour, checking up, where are you? Where are you? Come home. And also, this thing of coffee. Growing up, coffee used to be coffee. When my mom says, six o'clock, you are home. Up till now, as an adult, once it's six o'clock, if I'm not home, I'm not staying with my mom anymore. But once it's six o'clock and I'm not home, automatically within myself, I'll be like, yo, I'm disobeying this woman. I'm disobeying this woman. She won't do anything to me right now because I'm past that age. Because I, I regard myself as an adult. I'm past that age. But just knowing that it's past six and I'm not home, that's it, it, it sends shivers be, uh, down my spine. So imagine a 16-year-old flaunting a wand of cash on social media and celebrating for a four years relationship with a supposedly married pastor guys what is this generation turning into i'll be dropping my voice here and i'll urge you to please let me know down below what your thoughts are on this whole scenario yeah the, tw the detectives on twitter are still working behind the scene to get to the root of the matter if any more information comes I'll be sure to bring it to your doorstep. Please subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel. Comment your thoughts down below. And as a parent, if your 16 year old kid comes home with an iPhone 15 and a wand of cash, what will be the next solution for you? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a blessed afternoon. Bye bye. Yeah, 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 so, yay, guys, that's the most cool way, right? It's not cool, right? Sharp and fine, nice. Hey, you for a part? Damn, okay, I sharp. This is too much, I get what I'm saying, what do you mean? It's also mostly, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? I like your car. What's your name? I like your car. What's your name? Thank you. I'm going to go home, yeah. I'm going to go home, I'm going to go home. I have a and then I'm going to buy something. Get you again, Linda. Fed. We got a phone. What phone? I have a phone. And then we spoke.